So I just thought I'd give you a uh, pepper harvest update and this is what I took off this week. Um, there's a lot more to come off. Uh, I've just been out in the polytunnels and uh, yeah, there's a few more that have ripened. So we'll go through these and I'll tell you what I know about some of these because I have tested some of these. So starting with my mild red and you guys have eaten these you get these out of your local supermarkets um, then we move up to the starfish pepper which i tried i think last week uh fiery little thing um and a very fruity flavor beautiful flavor to them really pretty looking pepper you can see i've got a few there i did take these off the other day so they've ripened a bit more indoors uh, that's basically just a few tomatoes that I've been getting through um, and they're really nice they're uh, Taiwan goddess there's a cooking tomato there as well um, which will go in one of my curries or something like that um, right okay seven pot primo boot um, no I haven't tried this one not yet um, this one however I tried yesterday the bald nine uh, probably the hottest pepper i've ever eaten uh, i didn't even eat the whole thing i probably got just over halfway on it it was like eating a bar of soap and it had the most placenta i've ever seen in any of my peppers it was just solid um very very tough pepper to eat um that's eating it raw but um you know when you cook with these things you get a completely different flavor they're still damn hot they'll light your meal up but um you know, eating it raw is is, is a real uh, challenge. It really is, uh, especially with, with a pepper like that. That's probably about one and a half million Scoville heat units. Okay, and then down here we've got some butch tea chocolates. I've grown a few times now, and they are damn hot. Again, we're looking at about the one and a half million, one point four Scoville heat units on that one. Uh, Purple Reaper, not eating one raw. But I have eaten it in a couple of meals. I put it in a curry and I put it in some chicken for heaters. And it has that typical reaper burn. Um, not quite as hot, not quite as floral as a, a normal Carolina reaper. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, it's, it's a seriously hot pepper. And we, I can show you this one here. Um, get a bit of of that now i took that off totally green a couple of weeks ago and it's starting to go red and it's still holding its its uh structure its shape it's uh it's not going soft in any way when you take them off green they they tend to last a hell of a lot longer when they got try and go through their ripening process right over here my favorite this year the bombay morwich absolutely i made a balti with it uh, a lamb balti wow what a curry that was and i used a couple of these in it and uh and, and one of my mild reds just for extra flavor over here uh, i always put them in for extra fruitiness but yeah the bombay morich what a pepper up here we've got the maruga chocolate which i haven't tried yet i know it's going to be a floral bomb the chocolates generally are a floral bomb and i can't deal with that you know it's uh, like eating a bar of soap like i said and uh it's, it's hard to get down um i can deal with the heat but uh the floralness no good no good the medre vieja um little pepper fiery heat to it um i think it's about four times as hot as a, a jalapeno over here, one I haven't tried, the chocolate naga brain. Got a few more of those coming off. Uh, chocolate naga brain, and it looks gnarly as hell. All that blistered skin there, you know. Uh, beautiful pepper if you're a chili head. Um, but let's see what happens when I try and attempt to eat one. And then down here, this is relatively new. You haven't seen this yet. I've only got one plant. This is the Trinidad Habanero. Uh, let's pick one up. And it, it's quite a similar shape. 
to the starfish. Look at that, that's a big head. So yeah, I'll probably do the review on that next weekend. I've got a week off so I can eat a, a couple of hot things and put my body through hell. Um, so yeah, it deserves a review. The Trinidad Habanero. Okay, down here we've got a few Armageddons. Yep. Andrew Bain, my friend, he, he said it's the hottest Armageddon he's ever eaten. So, yeah, we might have a revisit to the Armageddon one day. And uh, that's where my channel all started, doing the Armageddon pepper. Okay, up here, uh, we've got some Sugar Rush Peach. Uh, medium pepper, again. Uh, I think it's about 125,000 Scoville heat units. Very tasty pepper. Uh, down here, the mystery pepper. Oh, oh, where am I going? This one here. It's the Pimenta de Dog, which is an unstable pepper. So it takes eight years to stabilize a pepper. So you don't get too many phenotypes. You get more of a uniform shape. And, uh, you know, that reflects on the flavor and heat as well. Um, I'm not sure what stage this one's in. Um, but we'll learn a bit about that and I want to try that. So again, on my week off, that will probably be another pepper I will try. I'm dying to try it. So uh, I, I really like the look of it um, and I want to keep growing these. You know, I, I really trust in this pepper. I think it's going to be a good one. Okay, right, we've done the Armageddon. We've got mustard scotch bonnets here. There is a big green one in the middle there because I knocked it off the plant. I've had a couple of accidents out there where the plants are so big. I knocked a whole branch uh, off of a pepper plant the other day with peppers on it. I can't remember what one it was, but yeah, these things happen. Okay, over here we've got some beautiful King Naga. And that is a seriously hot pepper. That is the hottest Naga I've ever eaten. So we've got some you know, that lovely colours there. Look at them colours. Look at them. They're in their, uh, you know, transitional phase, if you like. You know, they're, they're, they're still ripening. So you've got a little bit of dark black colour in there as well. Beautiful. You know, that red one is pretty much ripened. Some riper ones there. Uh, aren't they beautiful? Okay. Tasmanian Habanero really serving me well this year great pepper not too hot probably as hot as a, a normal habanero you know 125,000 to 350,000 scoville units but you know the plants are giving they really are you can see by that little harvest compared to the rest of them uh, down here something a little bit new that you haven't seen with uh, my pepper harvest videos this is the chocolate Mirasol, and I did do a review on this. Not much heat at all. Great tasting pepper. Um, comes from where is it? It comes from uh, New Mexico, I believe. Um, yeah, uh, great, great pepper. Full of seeds. So many seeds in them. Um, but not a lot of heat, you know. Great for putting in meals and stuff like that for extra flavor. So over here, we've got a few Serrano peppers. The old Serrano there, they pack a bit of a punch. Um, not entirely sure on the Scoville on that one, but they're certainly hot. Well, they're probably on there halfway to a habanero, I would say, something like that. They're definitely hotter than a jalapeno. Uh, I've just got a couple of Tinker Bells there, which are like small bell peppers, beautiful peppers. And then over here, I've got some bog standard, but beautiful nonetheless, Scotch bonnets. And I just bought pepper, Scotch bonnet peppers and took the seeds out, dried them out myself, and I grow them every year. Okay, so that is this week's pepper harvest. There's more to come off. So there may be another video at some point later on in the week uh, because they are pretty. 
aren't they all these beautiful colors beautiful peppers ripening beautifully inside um, I'll take it I did the orange the orange habanero yeah I did a little review on that um, last week and these actually gave me a stomach cramp um, that went on for about an hour um, they're hot really proud of them you know I am cooking them tonight in a chili con carne for Sunday dinner. Why? Why not? Sod the roast. I'm having a chili tonight. Okay, right. Uh, if you like the videos, let's pull this back here. There you go. There's a shot of that lot. Um, like, share, subscribe uh, if you want to, people. Uh, you would really help me out if you did. Um, you know it gives me the strength to carry on doing these videos because I am a very busy man at the moment this is uh, the, the next month or so is is the busiest time with with this pepper business um, it is pod season at the moment so it's very difficult trying to get a video in for you guys but I'll be there I'll be there and I'll be there again next week I'm gonna do a pepper uh, hot sauce review in a minute so uh, something extra for you to watch okay all right uh, leave a comment for me in the comments area and i will get back to you hit the notification bell uh there's a drop down box just select all and you will be notified uh whenever i put a new video up and you can also follow me on instagram um, just type in tj burns as you do um, on youtube and you can have a look at some of my photographs and uh, follow me on another platform all right, I've been TJ Bones. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.